As someone who basically made a business of LS swapping things, I, I kind of always told myself that, you know, we're putting cars back on the road. Doesn't matter what's underneath the hood. These th things are just gonna get driven. After thinking about it for a while, honestly, I'm probably actually better at taking things off the road and just putting them on jack stands. And then the jack stands fail because we all bought them from Harbor Freight. And they sent us replacement jack stands and those all failed because those are also garbage. Welcome, my name is Matt. Today we're going to be redoing something that shouldn't have needed redoing in the first place, but welcome to my garage and the things that are in it. We have a 63 Buick Riviera with an LS swap, and when I was making the exhaust for it, I just took random pipe and welded it onto like a random 3 inch flange and sealed it with the gasket it came with. And that's uh, not working. There's an exhaust leak all right around there, and there's another little exhaust leak right around there. Um, so since those are literally the only two areas that I, you know, touched, so let's get old thick boy pushed back a little bit so he can get in here and replace things that have already been done once. didn't work. Um, it's probably because the alignment's all off and all that other stuff going. It doesn't want to roll very well. It probably has nothing to do with the fact that I can't push a car with wheels across a smooth pavement. Probably has nothing to do with that. So let's um, just do it. <laughs> so let's just do this where it was sitting. So we got the upper flange loose and the exhaust pipe, well, you know, fell. And now we're going to get this second lower flange here loose. As you can see, I did a cute little thing with the nut where I barely left enough space for it to actually fit. So the pipe actually ends up holding the nut so you don't have to uh, put a wrench on it. Normally I'd say that's just bad fabrication skills, but in this, this instance it actually turned out into a nice convenience. <sighs> I love it when a mistake turns into, a, you know, best practice. This bolt, as you can see, because it's still in, uh, is stretched and is totally messed up. But now that I've pulled this whole thing out, I'm a few gaskets short of actually finishing the project because I need to replace that one now. So this is just gonna be one of those days. It doesn't really matter what day it is, but it's one of those days. I just got all the driver's side's nonsense out and I only had to break one bolt, so this has been great. That sounds like sarcasm in there, but believe me, it's uh, more happiness and sadness rolled up into one sentence than most people can even imagine. Looks like we had some self-clearancing going on. There's a pretty big bash right there. I don't know what was hitting it, but it looks like it pretty much worked itself out. So when we put this back in there, we'll see what's in that area, but I bet it's, I bet it fits fine now. Nothing to worry about. Today's a new day to mess things up and I'm here. It's not 7,000 degrees outside, so we're already like one step ahead of the crowd. As you can see, I've got my mechanics flip-flops on, so, Ah, this is gonna be a good start to the day. So while I've been waiting for some extra gaskets and hardware to come in, I went ahead and painted these black with, you know, barbecue paint. Uh, because that's what was laying around the house. Just look how high quality that looks. And then I left them outside for four days in the rain. So they're perfect. So these guys are made by Remflex. Uh, they're super soft, like a fingernail drag gives it a dent. So the idea behind them is it can seal the most horrifying things that you've ever created. You can see right here with the black soot where the blowout had been happening for quite a while and it's making me reevaluate of gluing them on there 
is uh, really a good plan. Since they're made with graphite and they're so soft, remember though, when you're torquing these things down, you actually have to be careful. If you go and bolt these things down as hard as you possibly can, you could actually squish this out of the header. They only want you to torque them to like 20 foot pounds. I've never met the person that could get a torque wrench to actually fit in their engine bay, but um, 20 foot pounds ain't much. So I don't actually use a torque wrench. I kind of just visualize it and, you know, give her a ugga dugga until it feels good. Of course, the only thing I didn't bring down here was the exhaust gasket. The whole reason we're doing this project. No, oh, that would have been fun to go over with a tire, especially when your tires are as thick as that. Luckily, we cheated here. This, this car is on air ride. So anytime I need to do work underneath here, which is, believe you me, all the time, I can just air her up. I don't know where I put the other wrench. Oh, there it is. Oh. Uh. Uh. Come here. Oh, there's the handle. All right, gotcha. The flange down here at the bottom of the O2 housing. We got this wrap around pipe that gets us around the X-frame of the car. And then we got our two flanges that bolt in this catalytic converter. Well, catalytic converter. I mean, they kind of smush, but they don't kind of like burst out. So they're not as soft as you think once you start to compress them. But Everything's at least 20 foot pounds because I was using a micrometer for it. So I know for a fact these are tight and just like that You know a week and a half later. We have it back together and working Except for that little red thing right there. That little, little red guy is actually a cap for some sort of fluid Probably brake fluid knowing uh, all my problems here that it looks like fell on the cylinder head and is slowly melting I'd get it off, but at this point, it's just it's too late for it this is its life now. So if you like this video, you should subscribe. <laughs> Going super deep into one brand of exhaust system gasket is probably not the norm for me. But here we are, just doing what we love. Or just doing what's around us. Or something. Either way, it's no longer leaking exhaust from everywhere up here. So, you have a good one. Here's your one tip today. If you ever find yourself needing light not on the ground, just put the rod of your work light into your jack handle and then you can wheel your jack around wherever you need it on the floor to light up all your problems. Look at all those problems I can see better now. Perfect! Just your average day of seven airplanes landing back to back. Just, just thinking about stuff. Maybe another airplane should take off? I don't know. All right, we got four seconds till the next one shows up.